It was like anything that we like can possibly dream of. Let's try to figure out how how to make it happen. And a lot of times it doesn't happen the way that we want it to, <laughs> but it turns out for so, something great in some way or another. Do you you do you think cannabis and creativity go hand in hand? And do you use cannabis for your creativity or is it something that helps you? Definitely. I am a big edible girl. And so usually like an hour before shoots, I'll like eat some edibles. And so when I'm like during my shoot a little bit in, I'll start focusing. I'm like, oh, I'm really focusing. I, I'm really, I have been really bad ADHD. So I'm really bad at like details. And I'll start noticing. I'm like, okay, I'm really paying attention to making sure the label is out. I know that I'm like, hi. And it's really, it's really great. Cause like, I feel like when I'm smoking and shooting, I'm more productive and I pay attention to detail more. So it's like, I get inspired by the cannabis and then it also like helps me focus on details as much as not as much, but <laughs> absolutely you get like in the zone. Exactly. Um, so ladies of paradise, um, we recently got told that we just hit the mark on so many different aspects of culture in the cannabis industry, um, from our store to our events to highly curated branding and products. Um, what are you most excited about with what we've done so far? And I mean, this is kind of like a big question, but like, where do you see us going from here? Well, the herb life doing this spread on us was a really big success for us. I mean, that Keisha and I have been dreaming about having like something that we created in print in a magazine like forever. So that was like a really big highlight. And you're talking about the the time through the travel to, through time that we did yes. in, the, in the latest issue, the volume two issue. Yes. You guys should definitely check it out if you haven't. We have like such incredible models and styling and beautiful products that we're showcasing. It really went better than I could have expected. But that was a really big highlight to me. Um, but honestly, we've been, we've been, um, producing our own products. Now we have a line called Lady J's out of pre-rolls. And I feel like that's like kind of the most exciting thing going on right now. It's really cool. Cause we originally, I mean, since we're a creative agency, we help brands with their, with their, um, ideas and with, with like the con- with the content that they want to put out and the people that they want to reach. And it's so much better right, being actually involved in the brand because then we get to do like exactly what we want. <laughs> And it's like the most fun thing ever. Like I love working for clients and hearing what they want and making that come to life. But obviously like we have a really creative uh, team and a really eclectic style. So getting to run wild with that is, is really amazing. I never would have thought that I would be like designing products and that they would be like out for the world at all. What um, can you tell me about our upcoming project? products and lines that are coming out? Yeah. So Lady J's, we uh, we just launched that in Oregon. And our next is we're going to be doing CBD pre-rolls. Same name under Lady J's. New packaging though. It's really amazing. And then we also have a cartridge with Odyssey coming out and it's going to be called Day Trip. And the branding on it is so incredible. Basically, the premise is like, you deserve a day trip. You deserve an escape from your regular life. Like hit this pen and it'll be a... A good experience. Yeah. <laughs> um, like a fake vacation. Not what I meant to say. A vacation within the boundaries of everyday life. Exactly. There we go. Spoken way more eloquently. <laughs> well, that's that's my job here. Um, I'm the visual. <laughs> I write the words. Um, what do, what do the products mean to you, and like how have these impacted your goals and vision for the future? Because I mean, this is something that we started doing this year, and I feel like it's really taken over. And um, I think that this is a really great opportunity. Because okay, so yes, we have like a pretty decent following um, for the cannabis industry, but does that translate to like sales? You never really know, you know. And so it's been really, really awesome to see that like the impact that we've done through our store and through our events and through our photography. It's really like it really has done what it was supposed to do. Like everyone, everywhere that we're going, people are knowing, you know, who Ladies of Paradise are. The pre rolls coming out, people are super excited about it. It's it's really, I mean, it shows to me like that we've really proven ourselves in the industry to be able to be like, we're a part of this. Like we're, we've made a name for ourselves in the industry now and we can like, you know, run with it. <laughs> um, so I'm going to talk about events a little bit. 
And um, so events are obviously a big part of what we do too. We do four quarterly events that are all themed. Um, What's been your favorite event so far? And what do you feel that separates us from um, other events in the cannabis space? Well, Cowboys versus Aliens was my favorite. It was definitely the hardest for me in particular. We, We decorated a house that was empty. And so we took all the furniture out of my house and brought it over in my friend's hot pink van in like 20 trips over. It was so nuts. But we decorated this entire, this entire home. It was from head to toe, like or from top to bottom, like decked out. It was incredible. Um, but that was my favorite one for a while. But we just had we just had one in Denver called Electric Avenue, and that's my new favorite. Obviously, you know, you can't buy experience. And so uh, some of, you know, we, we've tried really hard and I've been really proud of all of our events, but like we're getting, we're nailing it now. We're getting it exactly down. All the kinks that were happening before aren't, aren't happening. It's running a lot smoother. Leanna, you're killing it. <laughs> um, but I really think that our our parties are different because of like, what we stand for, which is like being yourself and having a time, a good time and accepting others. So everyone that comes is really kind to each other and non-judgmental and like there to have a good time and learn from each other and connect with each other. It's not like business professionals at all. It's like business professionals, but in their like and festival clothes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so it's really cool because it's like, I feel like in a lot of industries, professionalism is this certain thing. And in this industry, it's not that way. Like we're people that want to like, work and be high all day. So we're not exactly in the professional, like, you know, or the standard that professionalism normally is. Um, I feel like to, we, it shows the amount of effort that we put in, you know, like we do everything ourselves. We decorate like every single booth, normally at events, you know, people get a table. We like design these crazy eclectic spaces for everyone to be in and people really appreciate it. And I feel like in every other industry, there's so much money to be put towards like entertainment and parties. And like, there's not that here. So like we have to take like kind of, you know, spaces that are hard to work with and make them into these beautiful, these beautiful spaces. And so I feel like the people that come get how, how lucky we all are that we're getting to smoke together and how hard that we work together. Um, You talked about your two favorite events being Cowboys vs. Aliens and then our latest one where I feel like we've grown so much, like you said, but like, tell me about like how, like from, from when we did our first event to how we did our last one, like just what's different about it. And like, just like from the spaces that we use and like how we've really have to like navigate our own way to like really throw the event that we want to throw. Okay, so our first parties were all held in Jade and I's Portland home for a while, which, I mean, I'm really stoked that that's how it started. They were fucking crazy ragers, like 250 people house parties. Like, it was insane. So that's like one thing that's way different. Back then, we were using our house. Now we're using legit venues, depending on where we are. Um, Which has been a big upgrade. Yeah, that was like for why or one of the reasons why Denver was so amazing is like we had a beautiful space that was really easy to work with and open and it was made for that and you could smoke weed in there and it, yeah exactly <laughs> yeah and it's really I mean obviously there's not a ton of consumption lounges or anything like that yet and but they're coming and we are ready for it um, also I feel like one of the biggest changes is just Leanna our event planner you know got a lot of experience this year throwing parties and like this year you know, she had an itinerary from morning to end, like what we were doing, what each member on the team was doing. And I feel like that, you know, that preparedness was key. (laughs) Definitely. So now I want to ask you um, a little bit, just like the women empowerment movement is happening, like with a vengeance right now, like, Mm -hmm. and we're, I mean, we're, we've kind of been known as and established as like a female focused, you know, creative agency, but like also we, we just show support to like our community and stuff. Like, what does it mean to you to use our space as like our store space as, you know, a place where women can get together and come in and have events? Like, I mean, it's really special that we get to do this. We actually just had a local photographer, Ashley Cleaver, who is also incredible or hit us up about doing like a me too movement shoot where we shut down the shop and it was 10 different people coming in and they painted on their bodies and it was like dim lighting and everyone ended up like staying there and hanging out and talking um for hours and having this like really comfortable space and like it makes me so incredibly happy that we 
are the kind of people that open our space up to this kind of things. These are very important things that are going on. And so many people just like turn a blind eye to it. We really, as we grow, want to want to be working and doing more and more of those events. Obviously, we love women and women have been like just shut down so much. And so we want to have a space like that they can come and, you know, do whatever they want to do and for free usually, which is which is awesome. I think it's really great that we that we offer a space for people to be able to to come and do that. All right. So I'm going to finish up with just a couple um, quick questions. Um, I'm going to start off. So what's your favorite item in our store right now? Oh, uh, I'm biased, but I will have to say the stonework collab that we just did. Oh, yeah. Tell us about that. Uh, It's a pale pink and an emerald green. We did the small, large, and medium and rolling trays. Um, But they have 22, is it 22 karat? Uh Uh-huh. 22 karat gold weed leaves on her. The Ariel, which is an incredible, she's an incredible woman. uh, She hand stamped or hand cut all of the leaves and put them on every single one. So they like, they truly are works of art that she put a lot of time and effort into and they're they're really just beautiful they really are um one more question or actually three more um (laughs) what is your favorite way to consume cannabis i think i know but just tell me um it's a bong oh i was gonna say edible so um well the thing is is that bong is my favorite but since i'm a singer i edibles are like what needs to happen so that leads me into my next question um what do you do when you're not at work um i'm a musician so i play music sometimes well, not sometimes, more often than not. Um, and I mean, I like to travel a lot. I like to, I honestly, lately, I've just been loving even just driving around Oregon. I like to spend time like listening to music and driving around looking at beautiful things, Me spending too. time with friends. Um, and then last but not least, what are your summer plans? Um, well, to you and Keisha are both getting married mm-hmm. and you and my other best friend, Becca, are both having babies. So I feel like my, my whole summer this summer is going to be like very family friend oriented and making sure that everyone has, you know, the support that they need. And music playing. Oh, yes, yes. At the end of the summer at Keisha's wedding, I'm going to be playing my first show with the new band that I'm in. So very excited about that. Well, the band's called Monstera. So watch out for it. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm really excited about that. We can continue our house parties with Monstera parties. There we go. <laughs> um, we can be sponsored by Lady Jane. <laughs> exactly. You know, just everything full circle. <laughs> Um, well, thank you, Harley. I love you. And uh, I love you. Thank you, Sessions, for having us. And we love the herd life. Bye, guys. Well, that's the end of this session with the creatives of Ladies of Paradise, Jade Daniels and Harley Case. Thank you so much for coming on the show. I'm personally so inspired by these two as a creative myself. You can find their links and contact details in the show notes of the episode and on the Herb Life website. Make sure you give them a follow on social media. And while you're at it, follow the Herb Life as well and sign up to our email subscription for up-to-date info on sessions and tons of great articles showcasing exactly what the Herb Lifestyle is all about about. A big thank you to everyone listening. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Sessions. Sessions by The Herb Life is a production of Blue Dream Media, produced by Tiana Matliowski and executive producer Jill Pollard. Pollard.